That's right, guys. Don't be scared. We've got our 350 guide rifle. We're going to go in this glowworm cave. But I figure we might as well do some hunting on the way there. It's uh, 1.3 kilometers to the south. And we got some uh, sandbar sleeping on the road. I spooked some back here. Oh well, there they go. And we got a heavy wind to the right. And the 350 cartridge really likes to get pulled by the wind. What do we got out here? So that, this is the objective for today. Hunting on the way to this uh, glowworm cave. See what's going on. Nothing really to hunt here. Uh, I can try to see... Getting close to check out the antlers on this guy. Alright, let's mark him up. I'm gonna see if I can sneak in a little closer. This is gonna do a little inspection of the antlers here. Now, this is the one star adult. Doesn't look like I should be taking a shot at him. He's looking fairly healthy. Uh, this is the two star mature, which is gonna be right of the middle of the road. The antlers look pretty cool on these guys. Kind of like that. But he's not looking... Like he's looking okay as well. Except the front one. The front one more crooked than the other one. It is. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too much, but... Maybe we'll take him. Just to see here. So... Uh, this guy I don't think I was going to... No, you an attempt. So let's uh, go for the two star. Oh, uh, I'm in range where they get alerted fairly easily. And this might be a job for the giraffe. Need a little bit more height. Seems to be the most popular use of the tripod stand, is to flop it down to get a little bit extra height, then pick it up again. So 100 meters, guide rifles, versus sandbar. What's the wind doing to this? Yeah, even at 100 meters, it's flowing quite a lot. Alright, uh, not a good angle for the 350. You're gonna lay down, eh? Just gonna sneak it in here. Yep. Alright, so we'll give him a minute uh, to bleed out and bed down. And, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good opportunity there when he turned his head. I believe he's uh, just up here, yep. Well, that would have been. A direct hit on the left lung. Would have been better to shoot even a little lower. Well, I can't say that's a shot I do very often. 350 had no problem there. It's almost like that cartridge got buffed or something. Probably didn't, but uh, yeah, I was I was thinking he was on the upper end of that mid range, just because he wasn't like he was fairly symmetrical. But well, that's fine. Let's uh, keep going south. Just see what else we run into. Must be some goats up ahead here, I think. Hmm. See here if we get around this little tree. One, one lonely goat. Who's tire mature? And I heard some tar over this direction. I don't see them, though. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's a lot of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a little smart here. We're going to take this guy down, but we're going to be using the giraffe tripod stand. Don't have to worry about spooking or anything like that. And we'll take this guy out, and we'll use the stand because it'll... Should muffle the shot enough that they don't run away on us. Alright, so let's mark him up. 100 meters. 
Not even gonna inspect them too much because we can inspect them in the harvest green. Let's check the wind again. It's a little bit to the right, like it's heavy, but 350 gets cold a lot. With these goats, it looks like the textures don't fully load in in the scope, but pretty sure. Uh, 350 should have no trouble with them, but I wouldn't mind them if he turned. We can try and do the same thing, though, into the lung. Yeah. Now, do these guys run, or did our giraffe work? Oh, there it is. So they're alerted. But that is all. And what we'll do is do a quick scan here and see. Getting some good hunting in on the way to the cave. Nothing jumping out. They're all kind of young. Three star mature and a two star adult. Doesn't look like I'm going to take a shot at these guys. There's a one star adult I could take a shot at and just kind of roll the dice on it. It's going to be hard to pick him out, though. Oh, he's right there. Second from the front? Why not? 200 out. <clears throat> so the wind's going to grab this one a lot more. <sighs> Much more. Considerable more. You're gonna mark, though. Yeah, boy. There, he's down. 350 doing the work today. Here's the goat. He was just solo eating, I think, here. Yep. Let's take a look at the shot. Right through the shoulder. 350 didn't seem to care. My voice seems to care though. Alright. Yeah, look at, look at all the uh, energy that bone took. Tons of it. Still, it broke through underneath the uh, recommended energy. Enough to take him down instantly too. 49.5% sell him off. I was going to look at the horns, but eh, oh well. And you guys are just up here. We're about halfway to the cave, actually. And here's the tar. Let's see if we made a mistake or we're good. One star adult. Double lung instant on that. Go 350. Out the other side, too. No trouble with those guys. 63. No biggie. All right, if we looked at the horns, I, I don't know. Can you see imbalances on these? Maybe from the top. Not really. They're going to be really tricky. Looks like maybe one's taller than the other one, but nothing you could just say, okay, let's get them. Okay, sell that off there. And which way? This way. We got 600 meters to go. This is quite the view here. I was kind of over in this area, the one video. I think I was up along... Yeah, up over there. I got these tar just running all over the place. <laughs> Won't even settle down. They started from up here, ran down there. Back up here. They're the wrong way now with the wind, so... Don't worry about that. But this is quite the... The view here. Now, can we get down here without falling down? Oop. Maybe. Oh, no. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, all right, we'll try the jeep instead. That'll get us there. So much for the hunting part. Oop. Actually, I think my jeep just broke. <laughs> Darn it. Well, we'll use the gravity. Keep going, jeep. Now, trying to get it here, there was so many trees in the way. I was running at everything. Roll, roll, roll. Maybe we'll go this way. Keep taking the... Keep taking the gravity way. Come on, keep going. It's gonna get steeper up here in a second. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. Who needs a working engine? 
I wonder if, uh, you're, like, stealthy this way and can sneak up on animals. That'd be pretty funny. Oh, what's this? Big old cliff. Oh. Oh, I think we're done for now. Yeah. Okay. Can she get down without... Okay, good. Alright, well, I made it a little further anyways. And I'll leave the jeep there. Alright. Uh, well, it's supposed to be over there. But I kind of want to see the view here. That's pretty cool looking. Alright, now we need to get down. So I don't want to do that drive again. Yeah, it's really steep. Maybe we go over this way. I mean, the cave's just about there. It looks like a road drives to it, yeah. So I could, you know, it's probably smart if I actually stuck on the road. Uh, but I thought it was more fun go over the hill. And it probably was. Until I fall down here. Okay, that worked. So, just a little distance up here. Alright, we're here. Visit the glowworm cave. Thought maybe the radio would leap on or something. I guess we just have to follow this trail. Okay. Oh yeah, rickety little walkway here. This looks safe. <clears throat> really good, uh, Ooh, good view here. Thought I almost fell down there. Saw some goats over here. Some tar over here. Oh no, they look like goats too. Maybe it's goats and tar. And there's also a chamois with them. They're all hanging out together. But there's no way down from there, right? Yeah, I haven't unlocked any of this. I wonder if this is like a fast travel. Or maybe this one. Oh, but this is all... The private area, right? So it looks like... Oh no, it's another walkway. Okay, Jackie, let's not fall. We're at uh, Kutu Kutu Cave. Okay. No entry. Close. No visits allowed due to falling rocks and are prohibited. Uh, damn it. Where's... Hi, Jackie. It's Andy. Can you help me out? Helping people is my professional deformation. And, well, my plans got cancelled, so I'm all ears. Can you go and grab a dozen honey jars from a cabin near you? Sure. Sounds simple enough. Also, do not tell River. It's a surprise for him. So, how are the glowworms? Cancelled. Oh no. Was their true identity as fungus revealed? Yeah. They're about to assemble a press conference to deny the claims. <laughs> I have just one more thing on my bucket list. Sure. And hey, what is it with you and your grandfather? I want to quit Bear Den Ranch and start my own restaurant. Oh. Yeah, that might break his heart. <sighs> That's not what I wanted to hear. Better get his honey. Interesting. Gonna quit Bear Den Ranch after all that? Huh. And I thought we were going to get to see the cave. Oh, That's too bad. Oh, well. Alright, uh, what do we need to do? Take honey from the cab and highlight it on the hunting map. Uh. I 
How come I'm not seeing something highlighted? <laughs> There's a cabin here. There's the ranch here. Oh, is this one? Right, okay. Uh, okay, let's uh, travel there and see what happens. Sam's cabin. This one's got quite the view, too. Yeah, that seems kind of weird. River gets handed an entire ranch. Like, <laughs> no thanks. I'm gonna go on and try and make my own restaurant. So, just deliver it to the lodge? Yeah. What the? Run, Jackie, run! What? Get out of there! Why? Just listen to me! Run away from the cabin. What, we're stealing the honey? Where are they? Are you in here? I'm not running around to find the person. Where in the world are they? Okay. What the hell was that, Andy? Oh. Did I just steal the honey from a goddamn parrot? What? That wasn't Sam screaming? Unless the parrot toy isn't called Sam, no. Oh, there's a parrot toy? <laughs> I can't believe that old man. I'm not a fan of breaking the law, Andy. I'm returning the honey. No, no. It's just a joke between me and Sam, obviously. You saw the parrot. Please bring it to the lodge. It's a surprise for River. Fine. But you've run out of favor tokens, lady. Okay. Oh, now we're breeding River. Hey, good morning. Did you like the honey from yesterday? Oh, you have no idea. But Jackie, she wasn't a big fan. Why? No idea. She refused to even taste it. Hmm. Odd. Anyways, are you free right now? This time, I need the biggest red deer racks you can find for a truly opulent chandelier. On it. Okay. Harvest a mature red deer with a drift rating two stars more. Oh, okay. That shouldn't be too hard. Jackie, are you bored? No, not really. I'm observing a group of rabbits and reading your favorite book. Oh, you'll love it. Then you'll stop disliking Andy for whatever reason. That. We'll see. Just wait until you get to the story about the boy serving wine at the war meetup. You'll be speechless. Stop spoiling it. I, I'm not. You literally just did. That doesn't count as a spoiler. And hey, do you want to help me find red deer with big racks? For Andy's chandeliers. Uh, ha, ha. No way I'm helping her. What about helping me? Let me read. <laughs> she likes the book. Okay. So I figured I'd come up here, back where we were. Uh, there's a red deer in here, right? I figured I'd drive up here and check what this is, because I'm thinking... Maybe that's a fast travel point? I'm not too sure. Uh, but we'll get a vehicle, and then turn left and head up there. Oh, I just ordered one. 130 meters. Oh, and the right downwind. So I did go to this uh, fast travel point, and all I did was... Uh, I'm at the end of the drink time, so I decided to go down to this river here. And hopes I catch them before they left. It looks like it worked. But the trouble is, uh, the right down wind. I think the wind shifted a bit since I started. Now, they all look big, is the problem. Okay, this guy's gotta be at least two stars, right? Alright. So, I'm gonna have to uh, get around here. Well, we might be able to 
pull the old giraffe maneuver. Cause then they can't even smell you, apparently. I see them now. Okay, yep. Alright, let's try and get a read on one of the bulls. One star adult, that's no good. Ah, uh, two star adult, great. I'm gonna have to wreck one of them just for the mission. Oh well. It's right through here. We can't see him anymore. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna have to watch for a minute. Yeah, I can see him right here. Now that we can shoot through trees. He's this one right here. What range are they at? Oh, he's laying down. 50? I can still hit him, though. Let's go for it. Hey, don't know how well that did. Alright, let's go check it out, though. How do we do? Pink! Yay! Okay, he is down. So that'll be that mission. Just have to follow him here. Ah, oh, here he is. I just spooked a million things. <laughs> Look at that. Crazy. Alright, well let's pick him up, get the mission complete. There you go, laying down shot, made it into the lung. Good. 59, so that's fine. Would have maybe been a three-star tops. All right, gonna sell him off. Oh, I didn't even realize. I only noticed the two stars, not the mature part of it. All right. Dumb, dumb. Why didn't you guys tell me that? Okay, let's... I'll find another one. I just remembered... I had a two-star red deer mature that I used for a thumbnail on the shooting through the trees one. Now it's been one year has gone by since I seen him, so hopefully he's still here. 300 meters is where they drink, and I think it's their often drink. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, sh I didn't disturb him when I took the picture, so... Let's see. Okay, they're there, yeah. There should be a two-star mature in here. Uh, he is high fit, though. Uh-oh. I don't actually see him. Unless he's farther back in there. Wind's good. Is a young guy? No. I'm concerned of seeing one star adults. Or one star youngs. Okay, they're all adult. I haven't had that much time go by. It's only been one year. If he died, there should have been a young one. He must be in there. Or it doesn't make any sense. Maybe he's back in there further? I 
that's too bad if he's not there. I don't quite ha Well, maybe he got replaced by a female, though, because that can happen. He died of old age. I don't think he's here. They don't always get repla replaced. Like, the bulls don't get replaced with the bulls all the time. So is there a young cow? Oh. They're on to me. Oh, I should be able to get the camera in from here. That's kind of too bad. Doesn't look like he's here, but I don't get who replaced him. Is he back in here? No, that's too bad. Okay, so he died of old age. But did not get, or he did not get replaced by another bull, unless it's this guy. He's looking, maybe he's the young one? There, yeah, okay, there's his replacement. Well, so much for that idea. I don't really have that many uh, red deer spots marked. Maybe this one. Okay, I remember this spot. Maybe we'll drive over there. Am I being charged? I am being charged. Okay. So, just kind of running along here. And I seen this uh, spooked goat or shamal or whatever it was <laughs> coming right at me from a long ways away. That was weird. But that just shows you the mechanics of the the uh, charging mechanics. They they roll their chance to charge on upon being spooked. So, I guess I spooked them as I charged me. Uh, I'm almost there anyways, less than 200 meters. I haven't heard any though. I've been uh, scaring these sandbar deer all over the place. I figured I would have heard red deer by now. Those are rarely zones for red deer. Are they here? Oh, it's a solo. Well, he doesn't... Oh, no, it's not even a red deer. Uh-oh. These guys are tricky to find. Without the toolbox, I'm pretty sure those are sandbar way out there. That way, you don't have the big antlers, anyways. Uh, what else is around here? Can, uh. Because it's the drink time, I was just at this one. Maybe they go here to drink? Let's try that. I don't have a whole lot of time left, actually. 400 meters, though. I'm coming out to the lake here. Maybe it's still drink time for them. Maybe there'll be some red deer down here. Oh. Sandbar. Sandbar everywhere. Right? That's not an alert. Kind of sounds like an alert, though. Oh, here we go. Yay! Way out across the water. Or they're farther than that. What are they doing so far in? All right, not a big I guess. We'll collect some zones on the way over. Hmm. All right. We'll see. Well, there is definitely a herd of uh, red deer up here. Man, I spotted them on the camera. 
Uh, I'm not sure any of them are mature. A couple big ones, but they always look big. I gotta go through here, somehow not spook them, because I can't go along the shore, because the, then I'll put them downwind. I have to go this way. Might end up spooking them. No goose. Yeah, the, the water occurs around here, that's what was confusing me. Alright, I'm gonna try and sneak up on them from this direction. Okay, there's no way to approach through the trees like that. So I fast traveled to the camp that's the uh, other side of the lake. The problem is now they are definitely downwind. But I, I'm hoping I could spot them out of the scent range. This is where we need scent eliminator. So I just have to get down here. Okay, I should be getting within hunter sense range. There. Okay, they're a bit too far. Yeah, so I'm gonna lose my elevation. And if I get down there too much, they're gonna smell me and leave. Okay, swing around this way, keep the height. All right, what do we have? Two-star adult again. That's the big one I've seen. I don't really have any matures around the map. One-star mature, so he's too small. Another one-star mature. Another one-star mature. No, it's not going to be my day. Tons and tons of the one-stars. Two-star adult doesn't count. Well, that's too bad. I'm not going to be able to do the mission. Not today, anyways. Looks like there's a couple two-star adults in here. So, I mean, they'll definitely get there. Well, that's too bad. No, yeah, well, we'll have to do it next time. I mean, when I'm recording this, the toolbox still isn't out. Uh, so, my next... Session that I jump in. Oh, I think the toolbox will be out, so I should be able to find them easier. I've checked a lot of the zones. It's a lot of them are rare that I have, uh, but I can take a shot at this guy because he's just out there, nice and happy. I lay down. That's no problem. I usually don't do the lay down shots. Oh, he's gonna get up and be. Light. Wind's right at him. Throw it in there. There's pink blood. Alright. Just like that. We'll go pick him up. Analyze the shot a bit. And then uh, that'll be it. Probably for the video. Here he be. Alright. He's got to be a really low fit one be that small for a red deer there's the shot uh, I was kind of going for heart landed behind it 22 percent yeah all right let's get rid of him okay well that's it for now darn I thought I was gonna see the glow worm cave today oh well next time uh, like I was saying hopefully the toolbox is out then it makes it a bit easier for me to locate them uh, and I will attempt uh, more red deer hunting next time. Alright, so uh, thanks very much for watching. Everybody take care. Happy hunting. See you later.